Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. May the gods grant us the strength to prevail against our foes and keep this place for our people. I will bend my every effort to this struggle, and I know you will do the same. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here. Welcome back to the Land of Seizures. We are on Medieval Kingdoms 12, 12 AD mod for a Tittle Total War. Town center of this settlement is right there. I believe the town the name of this settlement, I think, is Van. It said the name of the replay was fought on the Battle of Van. I don't know if that's the name of this settlement or not, but uh it sounded kind of cool, so I went with it. But all right, uh, did you see the army compositions in the beginning? Kind of doing a little bit something different for 1212 because I can't say the names of the units. So I'm going to try something different here, and hopefully you guys did enjoy the little uh, snapshot screens of the uh, armies and who was commanding them at the beginning. But all right, let's take a look. We do have some of the dismounted Hospitaller Knights here for the Papal Sea or the Papal States. We have some of the Martelotus swordsmen coming up. Fighting already taking place on the walls here. Brutal, gonna be blood filled. Guarantee is gonna be blood filled. This is some heavy shock infantry right there. They are going to be brutal on the wall. Now, you guys also did see this is a 3v2. Three for the attackers, two for the defenders. We do have the Papal States and the Duchy of Brabant taking on the County of, the Counting of Svitz. And we do have over here the. Seljuk Sultan, Sultanate of Rum, and then over here, attacking by themselves, kind of attacking by themselves, is the final army there, the Gurid Sultanate. All right, spears up on the walls. We do have some spears up on the walls. That's always good. Uh, we do have a unit of the swords coming up over here, the Rajputs making their way up onto the wall over here. Some more of the heavy melee infantry there for the Papal States up on the wall, going to be trying to take them on two. That's tier two, tier two, okay. So this is going to be a pretty even fight. Let's see back over here. The artillery. Now, I was noticing in the beginning there, the artillery, yeah. Canton of Spitz artillery did lose three out of his four pieces of artillery. Is going to start firing in onto the wall, though. And oh, just barely. Just barely missing on that Pavis Spear Sergeant unit. That could have been so much damage right there. So much damage. Just barely clipping the front of the wall there. But more of the shock of the tree here is the uh, dismounted Brabant Knights. I believe that's, that's what this is here. Yes, dismounted Brabantian Knights taking all. Oh, we already have a unit on their way out. Archer fire coming in. What is this? Free Compry Longbowmen. Getting some good shots. Ten kills so far there. This unit is Swordsmen. Let's see what they're up to. Only one. So this unit's taking a lot of losses from the Arrow Towers. It seems that they're taking a lot of loss from the Arrow Towers. Archers are still getting some really well-placed shots up there. We do have a ram starting to make its way forward here. 
unit of the provinciers there for the, the uh, county of Switz or canton of Switz, I should say. Over here, though, it's going to start ooh, looking a little bad. Looking a little bad. Pav a uh, Papal States unit here now getting sandwiched on this corner tower. They will start losing control of it. It's going to be neutralized here pretty soon. Tower down. So many men just died right there. Oh my god, that was a full unit. Alright guys, coming back in. Battle replay actually crashed there. I wonder, was that tower crumbling that strong that it actually made the replay glitch out? Uh, but yeah, that unit of the uh, heavy melee infantry there for the Papal States just dropped over 100 men. Or round about 100 men from that tower crushing down on top of them. So that was huge, huge tower drop there. Uh, back up over here, we do have some more of the swords taking on the Papal States. I think this is the... Yes, this is the Seljuk... No, this is the Gurud Sultanate. Sorry. Gurud Sultanate and... Uh, no, no, Seljuk Sultanate is here as well, taking on the Papal States, trying to hold the wall as best as they can still. But it does look like they are going to get overloaded here as well. going to fight as hard as they can for as long as they possibly can, but I don't know. It's 2v1 right there. That might end up pretty bad. Uh, I did see another unit of archers over here, though. Get some really good flank or rear shots, I should say. Very, very nice shots in onto the back. Some more of the Seljuk units here. Taking a lot of damage. What are they down to here? Yeah, look at these. Actually, that was the one that got hit by the tower along with the... Uh, people unit there but this unit's been taking a lot of damage already lost 40 men wow really well done with the archer so far only two kills so again must be the archer towers doing a lot of damage there uh swinging back down over here does look like so far that initial press from the canton of Switz has been held off not too bad back over on this side some more of the infantry taking on each other up on the wall here and again, I'm going to guess that these arrow towers are just going to get a ton of kills. You can see them firing so far. Firing way over here. Pavis, Spear Sarge is going to be holding back some more of the Rosh Boots there. And they are so far doing a pretty good job holding them in, in a blob together for those Archer Towers to get some really good shots. You can see that some of them have definitely died on both sides there, though. towers are definitely doing a good amount of damage now the canton of Switz has moved up some more infantry looks like he's thrown up some more infantry up on the walls here can he continue trying to press his attack does look like his uh trebuchet crew is out let's see how many kills they ended up 17 kills there don't think they actually no they doesn't look like they actually get any shots up on the wall there so that unit of spears that were here looks like they've come back down over here probably spear sergeants there but over here, artillery on the move. This is Duchy of Brabant. Artillery on the move here. 18 kills so far. Looks like he's got a little bit less than half ammo left in it, so he can definitely get a lot more kills there. But the front line... Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, dismounted Brabant Knights. Wavering away. They didn't walk away with nothing, though. 136 kills for them, but some of the shock infantry there from the uh, Countenance of Switch has gotten up onto the wall here now, so they are definitely going to start pressing down I'm imagining they are going to make their way down onto the streets here. They might need to watch out, though. There is a unit of the uh, medium shot cavalry right there, though. So it's definitely going to have to keep an eye out on that. Any further artillery... Oh, that was bad. Any further artillery over here. We do have the trebuchet of the Gerd Sultanate starting to make their way forward. Does not look like he's taken any shots just yet. Still has zero kills on it. And the other piece of artillery here... For the Siljic student, it looks like he... Well, he's taken some shots. 14 kills so far. Has about three-quarters of his ammunition left. Maybe a little bit more than a three-quarters. So, it's definitely a lot of ammo left there. The defenders no longer have their artillery as it was two wall... Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. Somebody had a wall artillery piece. I want to say that that was the Papal States. 
had a wall artillery. The other artillery piece is still moving on down the line over here. He's actually just starting to make his way through here. Might make his way all the way down over here. Start trying to fire in onto those reinforcement units. The back up on the wall again. Let's get back in here. Some more brutal fighting going on. Archer fire really starting to pour in here now. Really starting to do some numbers. Really starting to do some damage to that hit points and to that armor. Blood spraying around. Love it. Love it so, so much. Guys, if you do enjoy seeing some 1212s on the channel, make sure to hit the like button on this uh, on this video. Drop some comments down below. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. And, uh, of course, as I always ask, please share the video around. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Archers are really going to start getting some kills now. Let's take a look. I mean, they're they're really close. 27, 41. Yeah, they're starting to get some good kills in onto these uh, Cantonist Fitz units now. Swordsman unit here, 60 kills down to 76 men. This unit here with 65 kills down to 60 men. So, yeah, they are definitely going to start doing some damage. Let's swing down back over here. Actually, we have a unit of Spears. Ooh, Spearmen taking on Heavy Shock. That is not going to go in favor of the Spearmen. Hopefully, we have a unit of Archers firing over here, though. Looks like this papal unit is kind of blocked. Their, their view is obstructed. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Firing right into the back of this heavy shock infantry. Probably going to start doing some damage here. You can see three, four men just getting dropped immediately there. Really, really good shots there. Let's see what's going on back down over here. Swordsmen are starting to waver there for the Seljuk Sultanate. Do actually have some ranged units now getting up onto the wall here unit of the Noker Foot Guards. This is like a ranged melee infantry, so kind of a hybrid unit there. They do have bows. I don't remember how much ammo. They have 20 ammo, but they are also really good in melee. So this is a dangerous unit. Very, very dangerous unit. Looks like he's only got one, two. Maybe he's got two of them. It does appear that he's only got two of them. So very dangerous unit, though. Very, very dangerous unit. Double, uh, Double-edged sword there, if you will. More of the Papal States archers there trying to trade back and forth. Actually, it doesn't look like they're... Actually, no, they're firing over here. They're shooting into this heavy shock infantry. Oh, yeah, shooting right into the back of them. Oh, boy. That is going to be a lot of blood. That's going to be a lot of blood. That's going to be a lot of death. Just kind of zoom. Look at that guy taking so many arrows. Oh, my God. The brutality of it all. More and more shots just getting dropped into that heavy shock infantry unit there. God. Could you imagine getting shot? I mean, let alone one arrow. Could you imagine getting shot by like six, seven arrows within seconds of each other? That, that would make anybody have a bad day. Pretty sure that would make anybody have a bad day. Let's see what we're doing back down over here. I haven't really seen very much. I think the Gerd Sultan actually still has a lot of infantry back out over here. He does. He's got some spears left, though. Where is the rest of his sword infantry? There's the Rashputs there. Some of his swords. There's another sword. There's another sword here. They currently are entangled with a unit of spears. There's no way down for this unit. Oh, no, no. that's They're, fi they're still fighting there. I didn't see that banner. Ooh, actually, this is a close fight. Archers again. Archers again. Very good placement. Really helping their spear unit out. Holding this line. Spear volleys just coming. Uh, spear volleys. Arrow volleys just coming straight into the back. You can see the arch unit over there. More volleys coming in there. Really doing a number on this Rajput unit. Oh, God. More. Oh, God. More shots into their back. They've got to be routing soon. What are we at? 55, 58. So very close fights right there. Very, very close fight right there. Where's this unit's banner? That's 102, so they're still definitely very much in the fight there. I don't see their banner, though. It's probably stuck. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it right there. It's in the building, though. It's in the tower. So I can't really see it very well. There it is. Heavy Spears, 54 kills, 55 kills. Still holding on against that unit of Rajputs. I think that's another unit of Rajputs there. Looks like it is. Yes, it is. More Spears starting to make their way over here. Cavalry starting to rumble around. We actually have the General's Bodyguard of the Papal States 
starting to make their way forward. Second unit of the medium shot cavalry is still sitting over here. Where did that artillery end up? Oh, he's really close up to the wall now. What is he firing at? It says that he's... I thought it said that he was firing. No, he's just moving around. I thought it said that he was he was firing. Let's see, where. what would be a good target? He may end up firing at the trebuchet there for the uh, Seljuk Sultanate. It's possible. I mean, he, he would definitely have the range to be able to hit it. More men are breaking over there on the wall. Oh, more shock infantry. More of the heavy shock infantry. Only 57 kills with this unit. Ouch. That is a definite big ouch. But we have some of the... What is this? Who's, who's, whose shock infantry is that? Oh, it's the uh, Seljuk Sultanate of Rome. Heavy shock infantry coming in here. They are going to continue just passing right on through. Going to get some more of this heavy melee infantry there for the Papal States. Looking pretty rough. Looking pretty bloody. Looking pretty brutal, boys. Loving it. Look at the size of that axe. The size of the axe head right there. My God. Oh. Somebody's about to get chopped in half. Somebody's going to... It's going to happen gonna happen there's too many axes over here swinging for somebody to not just get absolutely brutally murdered it's not happening just yet but it's gonna happen it's gonna happen whether I'm over there to see it or not it's gonna happen all right let's see what we still have outside here we do still have a unit of the nafatoon sitting outside they can cause so much damage they only have uh three shots though their accuracy isn't very high but if you get them close guys i have seen i have seen nafatoons get hundreds of kills oh what is this is that no way he is shooting it getting close he's already taken down what two more pieces or at least, at least, maybe three. Oh, is this three? I think that's three pieces right there. Wow. He took out three out of the four pieces. Very nicely done. So this ground artillery here, this trebuchet has helped the defenders out pretty substantially, I would say so far, taking out the Canton of Switz artillery and now doing a serious, serious number on the Seljuk's artillery here as well. But Seljuk's looks like he is going to try and pull it away get it away from there maybe not lose that final piece might be able to just sneak it over here start getting some shots in there that would probably be extremely beneficial but again brutal brutal fighting for the walls up here another unit of the heavy melee there for the papal states trying to hold trying to hold that staircase that right there it just said this is getting bloody dangerous <laughs> yeah I would say it is I would say it definitely is uh, looks like this is starting I mean the defenders are still holding pretty well on the wall here but I would be a little worried because there is a lot of actually never mind there's another unit of swords that showed up over here okay another unit of sergeants now coming over here going to continue trying to help this Pavis Spear Sergeant unit but yeah again Pavis Spear Sergeant's taking on some of the uh, you can see some of the heavy shock infantry there those big old axes swinging away on this on these shield units, spear units. Oh, uh oh, oh no! Is this guy just about to die? Nope. Is he? Is he? Oh God! Yeah, he just chopped him in the neck. Just chopped him in the neck, clavicle area, collarbone. Ow! That definitely had to have hurt. Because that was not a quick death. Unless he shot, unless he made complete contact in the neck, which I don't think he did. I think he definitely cleaved him in there on the on the shoulder bone there, if you will, the clavicle, like I said. That is a slow death. That is a slow, bleeding out, broken bone, shattered bone death. Wow. Fighting still going on up on the wall here, though. 
take a look, see if we have any cavalry rumbling around anywhere. Any cavalry moving around outside of the settlement for the defenders. Not just yet. Not just yet. I did see a couple units of cavalry moving over. Actually, where'd that general go? Where did the Papal General go? There he is. Okay, so the Papal States General is right there. And the Brabant General there, the Duke of Brabant, is still sitting right here as well. Okay, so both of the generals are accounted for. We have some more of the medium shot cavalry there. Another medium shot cavalry there. Is there any other cavalry? Did the Duchy of Brabant bring more cavalry? Or did he only bring his general cavalry was? I don't see any other cavalry there. I guess he only brought the one. I'm not remembering the uh, the beginning unit cards there from the armies off the top of my head. So if I'm missing it and just not seeing it, I do apologize. But doesn't look like just a quick scan there. It does not look like the Duchy of Brabant brought any other cavalry. We have here another unit of spears making their way up here. Medium pole, medium spear infantry. It's a pole arm. Medium, medium spear infantry making their way up. So far, the defenders still doing a pretty good job. This shock infantry up on the wall here. Only how many kills did I have? That didn't just say 20. 285. Okay, I was going to say there's no way that one only has 20 kills. This unit here, 22. No, not 22. 18. So they're just starting to chug away there. We had more, more, oh, 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 no. Noka Foot Guard's taking a lot of almost point-blank shots, but they are definitely returning the favor to these Brabant archers. Oh, some of those arrows really hitting their mark. See how these boys are doing though. Looking a little thinner. Little thinner. Still pretty solid though. 92 men left in the unit. 94 kills for them. Doker foot guard up here. 98. So really close back and forth there with those units of archers. Uh, does look like this part of the wall has been pretty much defended off. Cantonus Fitch not pressing any units up here further. Uh, does still have two units of cavalry there. Some spearmen. Two units of spears. He's got another unit of sword infantry there. We have a unit of pikes that are just kind of hanging out here in the woods. Waiting for their opportunity, they are hidden, along with two units of the medium hand gunner infantry has made their way forward here as well. But this wall is starting to look, this is going to be a problem. This stair, this center staircase right here, infantry are going to start making their way down off the walls here very, very soon. And these archers could quite possibly be in a lot of trouble here very, very soon. Hopefully, we're going to start seeing some of the attacking infantry coming down these staircases. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Please tell me you're coming down here. Come on down. Come on down. There's no point in being on the wall anymore. Come on. Start walking out of this staircase. Come on, buddies. No, still not. Still not coming down. Where are they rushing to? They're running all the way down over here. They're going to continue trying to help break through over on this side. A feeling that bringing them down into the city streets, at least one of these units, maybe even just the swordsman coming down into the streets, that could be a big thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got some more of the Brabant knights dismounted. The Brabantian knights making their way over here. But another unit of the... I saw another unit of Noka Foot Guard getting up here. I thought I did. Are they still outside? Nope, there they are. Noka Foot Guard climbing up onto the walls here. They might actually get some really good shots onto the back of that heavy shock infantry. Heavy Shock Infantry, kind of known. They don't have the greatest of armor. I don't think they have the greatest of... Oh, no, it's 90. But they're going to get shot in the back. They don't have any spear... They don't have any shields. So, yeah, they can definitely take a lot of damage there. Look at the amount of units that are running. Running away from over here now because of that Noka Foot Guard unit getting up on the wall there. That is a very dangerous unit. Like we saw the first one here, 104 kills. Uh, we are... If you have played 12-12, archers... Archers tend to not get a whole lot of kills, but sometimes they can get really, really good kills. And these Footnoka Foot Guards definitely have the capability to get some really, really solid high kills. Back over on this end here, though, does look like the attack is slowing down over here again. More infantry coming up. A lot of good teamwork. We have a unit of the Halberdier Sergeants now making their way up or have been up on the wall here for the Duchy of Brabant. Papal States got some more of his spears and sword units infantry there. But another unit wavering away here. A Royal Paik unit wavering away. Oh, no, they came back. 
They came back. Now stay there. Capture up this gate. That could be huge. If they can capture this gatehouse up, even if they just neutralize it and knock these towers, that could be a good opening for this cavalry to get inside here. Let's see. Do the defenders see this? Not so oh, no. Here we go. All your sergeants are making their way over here. They're going to come back down off that wall and get rid of that spear infantry unit. So good eyes there by the beer band player. Very, very nicely done. Back over here, you have really nothing going on. Captain is Fitch killed, just kind of hanging out back there, waiting for, maybe he's waiting for an opportunity to move forward. But again, Noker foot guards, great placement. 12 kills already, firing right over into the flank of that defending unit there. Did see some sergeants up on the wall there. These boys are going to take some damage. Just look at those arrows coming in here. So many arrows. Somebody just got decapitated right there. Ow. Brutal. For all those pole axes. Ooh. Brutal. Scary. Scary weapon. Definitely a very scary weapon there. Heavy shock infantry have made their way up. 19 kills for them so far. Just a still a massive, brutal fight for the walls. Artillery did get away, though, right? He still has that one piece. Yes, he does. And he's still got a decent amount of ammo. Does that look like it's over half? Yeah, he still has over half ammunition left. That is big. Very, very big. Over here, we have an undefended artillery piece, but not completely. He does have his cavalry nearby in case the defenders start to send, send anything out to try and get an easy picking on that... Uh, Artillery unit here, but now we have some cannon, hand cannons, hand gunners coming up onto the wall here. Oh boy. Where are they firing at? Looks like they're firing at the archers. I think they are. Does look like that's where all of these volleys are heading at. Let's wait for this line. We're going to wait for this guy to volley. Ooh. Couple shots missing though. Couple of the shots missing. Definitely getting some kills though. Let's see what this archer unit's down to. 126. So they only lost four at the moment. But look at this. The attackers on the street. Attackers on the ground. This is not good for the defenders. This could be a really bad time because they have gunners and archers over here right now. A wavering unit of spears, uh, heavy spearmen trying to make their way over here. Artillery shots coming again. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Artillery firing away, shooting at another unit of... Oh, my God. Whoa, that was close. He did take out one piece already, though. Wow. This guy has been surgical. This artillery right there, the trebuchet for the Duchy of Brabant, has been a doctor. It's been a surgeon of shooting. Nope, he's missing these last couple here, though. Ooh, might this hit the unit? Could this hit the unit? Oh my god, just over their head. This one though. Oh yeah. There you go. Got a couple more kills. There it goes. Registered. Okay, two more kills taken out. Or actually first two units. Two men getting taken out. Here we go. Another shot coming in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, a couple more. A couple more. Oh, so close. So, so, so close. Get back up on the wall here, though. We really want to see what's going to go on. Yeah, the attacker's really starting to be aggressive here. Breaking through that unit of spearmen. Now going to get into a unit. I mean, they're free company longbowmen. They're out of ammo, but still, it's going to be a unit they're going to be able to kill. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, a bad idea to get that uh, spear unit in here as well to help that sword unit out. 
just to try and break them and get rid of them even faster. I do see some cavalry starting to rumble around over here. Both of... Oh, good charge by the uh, Papal General there. Papal States General getting a nice charge in onto some of those swords when they're just breaking them. Immediately breaking them. They're shattered. Very nicely done. 72 kills total for that unit down to... How many men are left in it? Oh, I can't... Oh, there it is. Uh, 19, 18. So very nice charge there by the Papal General. Cavalry still rumbling around over here. Artillery is finally out. 29 kills, but he took out a lot of artillery pieces there for the attackers. So very well done again by the uh, for the Duchy of Brabant player. Very nicely done with the artillery, but really, really spot on shots. But back up on the front wall here. Yeah, it's starting to get dominated. The attackers starting to really, really dominate these front walls. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have... 2,600 left for the attackers, 1,700 and, oh, 2,624 against 1,777. So it's still very close battle, 900 man difference. I was about a 1,600 man difference at the beginning there, as you can see, 4560 for the defenders, 6152 for the attackers. So the defenders actually have done a pretty good job, but they are losing. They are currently losing this battle. Archer fire coming in there from the defenders. Let's see. Light bow infantry here. 56 kills. Getting some good shots though. They are firing in onto some. The, the uh, heavy shock infantry is kind of mixed in there. But it looks like they're getting more shots in onto these heavy infantry units that have shields. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Artillery over here. Does he still have? He does still have an artillery there. Look at how close this artillery piece is getting to the wall. Oh no. Are we going to have cavalry coming out over here? Looks like we might be getting ready to have some cavalry come out there. No, he's going to pull them back. He's going to pull them back. I thought for sure he was going to come out of the center. Or come out of the wall over here. Or maybe even charge in over here. Maybe we have a unit of handgunners on the ground. Hopefully something gets over here. Papal States did pull his cavalry back though. Up on the wall here. Does look like the defenders are going to lose another wall section here. The Noker Foot Guard up on the wall there. We also have the unit of the medium hand gunners getting some really nice shots. These guys fire. Oh, they're lining up to fire. Oh, my God. They're firing right into that light archer infantry unit. They're going to peel off there, though. They're going to try and charge in on these hand gunners. Hopefully stop them from firing for the moment. But nope. Archer's just getting absolutely blown to pieces by that hand gunner infantry unit. Wow. Really, really strong shots. So that artillery is real. Wow, look at how close that artillery is to the wall right now. He can't even get shots off. I think he's too close to the wall to even get shots off there. Looking a little dire, though. Thousand man difference. So the attacker's actually gaining a little bit more headway. Ooh, big shot coming in. Oh, no. Too short. Too short. I'm not sure exactly where he's firing. What is he firing at? I don't really know. I mean, these archers are out of ammunition, so firing at them, I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be a terrible, terrible idea, but it would kind of be a waste of ammo. I don't think these guys are really all that good. Light bow infantry, 2019, 10 armor is five. Yeah, they don't really, they don't really pose very much of a of a tough problem in uh, melee confrontations. There, do have Noka guard up on the wall there. There, Noka guard. Firing into some of that lipo infantry for the Papal States. Going to pull them back, try and get them out of the harm's way. More. Oh, look at this. Just look at the march. Marching on the wall. Already acting like they are victorious. Canton the Spitz. Very, very pleased with themselves at the moment. But this could be a bad thing. Look at that. Lost 50 men, 303 kills. 
I want to turn and start fighting these boys though because there's a shock here for Tree Unit coming in behind them. Starting to see some heads roll on the ground. Starting to see some heads rolling. Where's that? Oh, there he is. A heavy shock. Infantry now coming in. That is going to be a tough fight for that Raybound Knights unit to take on. Oh, man. That is a big number difference. 96 to 143. But heavy shock versus heavy shock is always a fun fight to watch. Are they pulling away? Is Brabant running away there? Oh, yeah, it looks like he's pulling away. Brabant is actually going to pull down off the wall. Yes, he is. Brabant has pulled down away from the wall. I do not blame him in the slightest. Get away from that Cantonus Fitz heavy shock infantry unit. Back over here, though, let's see. Anything roaming around outside? Not just yet. Not just yet. Oh, here we go. Big charge. Unit of handgunners left out on the ground. I think that was the initial unit that we saw over there. So huge charge there, medium shot cavalry, big charge, 84 kills now for them, very nicely done, they're going to pull away, just continue on down the line, are they going to charge out into the spear unit? Probably, yep, they are, they're going to charge right into that spear unit, spear unit not anticipating this charge at all, not braced, not ready for it, actually not a really good charge, they kind of missed, they kind of missed if I'm honest, oh, oh, these guys are cutting a couple, oh wow, getting thrown, getting thrown to the ground. Wow. Brutal fighting. Brutal, brutal, brutal fighting. 17 minutes left in the battle. Now this whole front section here has been taken over by the attackers. They're now pressing down the walls over here. We have that shock infantry. I wonder if he's going to keep making his way down over here and try and capture up this gate. Might not be a terrible idea because that will allow some of the cavalry from the attackers to be able to get inside. Still has the Naftatune sitting way back over there. Artillery strike coming in. Looks like he's just trying to burn the settlement. I think he's just trying to cause problems for the defenders. Let's take a look and see. Damage is only at 1%. Victory point is still very much held by the Duchy of Brabant. Or Brabant. However you say it. Ooh, where'd they go? 127 kills. Did they go outside? Looks like they might have gone outside. No, maybe not. Okay. I thought they did. They suffered a lot of losses. I wonder what they, what they got hit by so much. Interesting. Still 143 kills, did that say? 100, 127. 127 kills. Not bad, though, at all. All right. So let's see what we're going to have for lineups for the defenders. We have another unit of the probably spear sergeants there. Both of the generals over on... No, no, no. That's just the one general. Duke of Brabant, general there. Where is the papal general? Where did he go? So he's still rumbling around the city. There he is. Over here by this other side gate there. Oh, boy. Heavy shock infantry there. Four Cantonist Fitz getting rid of yet another unit. Taking out a unit of the light bow infantry there for the papal states. Still holding the gatehouse. Not a bad idea. Oh boy, here comes that general. Is he gonna charge in? Cause maybe maybe have the spears stop from moving forward. Yeah. They're gonna now hold their position and just kind of wait for a second. Now that would be a horrible idea, not just because it's a general, uh, but charging at the spears obviously is just a really bad idea. Also with the heavy shock infantry right behind them, those horses would just get completely cut in half. They would get murdered. So yeah not needed to charge in onto that spear line at all. Uh, Noka foot guards again firing. Look at the range on them. What is their range? 150 range. Wow, very nice. Firing way over here actually getting some good shots in onto another unit of the Free Company Bowman there for the Duchy of Brabant. Arrows just kind of kind of barely squeaking over the top of the building there though for both sides. Let's see, is he getting shots back? No, he's still just standing there just getting shot now. Okay, so he is not choosing to return fire. Back over here, unit of handgunners kind of caught out in a bad spot. Free company longbowmen and a unit of the halberdier sergeants catching that gunner unit out. That is big. 
But he's almost got the tower captured. Almost. Almost. But no, this, this light bombing infantry unit's not going to let that happen. Nope. He's going to move in there and keep this neutralized. Right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, flag's not moving anymore. Trying to keep it neutralized. Artillery shots. Wow, he did get shots off. Firing in on the general now. Whoa. Big time shots coming in on the general there. For the Duchy of Brabant. Looks like the uh, Papal States General was actually taking some shots too. Let's see. Trebuchet there for the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. Still in business. Here we go. Long, long bomb. I don't think he's going to hit anything. No, no, no. He missed. But he's still getting the shots. He's got the range. He's just got to dial in that uh, dial in that aim just a little bit. I know it's, it's a trebuchet. It's firing really far. It's not 100% accurate. I get it. I know. Uh, accuracy. I think accuracy is on there somewhere. No? I thought it was. I thought accuracy was going to be on the uh, on the list there. Yeah, let's see. Here comes another volley coming in. Obviously, they're shooting at the generals. Oh, so close. Oh! Got a little bit of the papal general. Little bit. Yep, killed one. Killed one man, two men there from the papal general. So, oof. Yeah, I would get behind these buildings. Run away. Save your life. A lot of infantry inside the settlement. We actually have the pikemen now making their way forward. This could be a problem. The pikemen could definitely be a problem. What do the attackers have left for range? I mean, the defenders have left for range. I don't think they have a lot. This unit here with not a lot left in the quiver. Uh, back over here, a lot of the range is over here with no ammo at all. Oh, wait, no, no this unit. Nope, that unit doesn't have any ammo either. We do have a unit of light bowmen there for the Papal States. They still have a little bit of ammo. I just hope that they have enough. They're going to have enough ammunition to deal with this pike unit when they make their way in. Because that could definitely be a humongous problem for the defenders. Not having any range left to deal with these pikes could be big. Could most definitely be a huge problem for the defenders. Defenders pulling back. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wait, no, we got cavalry. Defiant cavalry coming out. Are we going to charge in onto these spears? Yes, they are. Going to charge right into that spear unit. Oh, my God. What a crushing charge. Here comes that. Yep. Heavy shock infantry charging right in there. This cavalry unit's going to get murdered. Yeah, look at how fast they're dropping. I mean, they did a great number on that spearman unit, but look at that. They were at 25. They're already down to 12 getting murdered and there they go Pike, actually the spears survived the spears survived because of the heavy shock infantry that is huge oh no here comes the other one general general's bodyguard papal state general bodyguard coming in now getting rid of that now he's getting rid of that spearman unit he actually got a pretty decent charge in onto this heavy shock infantry very very nicely done just barely heard the galloping hoofs coming up the road there but again he's gonna have to get that general back out of there don't want to leave it in there for that long against this heavy shock infantry. Those, yeah, those two-handed axes are, uh, they're big, they're sharp, they do a lot of damage. Oh no, here comes another unit, Duke Brabant now charging in. Oh my god, guys, if you didn't know, by the way, real fast, if you didn't know, uh, cavalry in 1212 is, uh, destructive. <laughs> Completely destructive. I mean, that, look at that heavy shock. It's gone. It's dead. It's done. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. He's down to 46 men. 168 kills, though. Very good amount of kills, but uh, they just got freight trained. Completely freight trained. Still fighting, though. Still fighting away. I think they just broke. Yep. They just route, they're just routing away. Hopefully this cavalry chases them down and gets rid of them completely. We're less than 10 minutes left in the battle here, guys. All right, so there's the pikes. We've got some good spears still sitting around here. Solid spear units still sitting around. Another unit of swordsmen just hanging out right there. The defenders keeping this gatehouse under their control. Doesn't look like they're really willing to give up on it. I mean, I wouldn't say that they would be or should be willing to, be, to give up on it. But this over here, we have the Papal General has made his way back over here. He's going to try and inspire his allies and his own men. They are taking on a tough, 
tough heavy shock infantry opponent there. I don't think this 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 archer unit's not gonna live very long. Back out over here, see if we have any more cavalry. Oh wait, we have a unit of hand gunners. Oh no, point blank shooting a unit of Pavi Spearmen. That's damage. That is damage. Oh no. Look at that, point blank shots. Shields over their heads, that's fantastic, but... Oh, now they're turning around. Oh no. The gunners aren't shooting. Why? Fire. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. Yep. Oh, no. Look at that. Look at them just getting dropped. Oh, my God. So many men getting shot in the back right now. That is terrible. See what the numbers are now. 840 for the defenders, 1550 for the attackers. Attackers making their movement over here again, making a press, taking on a lot of archers. That halberdier unit is still sitting here, though. The pole arm unit is still hanging out down here. Only lost, uh, well, he's actually lost 58 men. 240 kills, though. Very nicely done with the amount of kills at this point. But this sword unit is about to start cleaning up, taking on archer units. And it's the medium bow infantry. Okay, that's going to be rough. If the attackers get cavalry inside the settlement, like I said, yeah, the attackers get cavalry inside the settlement, that could be really bad. That could definitely be really bad. But speaking of cavalry, medium shock cavalry there for the Papal States, running around here again. Looks like maybe they're looking for an opportunity, trying to slip past something. Maybe they're just trying to cause a little bit of a distraction. I'm not sure. Gonna trade positions here with the archers and the ballistic or trebuchet crew. I should say, nope, cavalry still rumbling around. Cavalry's actually heading their way back down all the way over here. Maybe they're gonna get over there by the general. Uh oh. What allies have fled? What happened back here? What was this? Wait a second. What happened over here? I didn't even see anything over here. Uh. Okay. I don't know what happened over there. But this wall is really starting to not look good for the defenders. Halberdier's going to try and get up there. Oh, no. Is that that them? Where did the Halberdiers go? Oh, they are getting up there. Halberdiers are climbing up onto the wall. Going to try and help hold this line. Halberdier Sarge is getting up there. 258. Medium melee infantry there. Archers again. Oh, boy. Archers getting shots. Is that more of the Light Bowman? It is. Another unit of the Light Bow Infantry for the Papal States. Here comes the General. The Duke of Brabant General charging down the streets. wonder if he's going to make his way outside. I would not say that would be a good idea. Hopefully he does not go out there because look at the cavalry that's coming over here now. All of this cav getting ready to line up. I think they're all getting ready to go through here. Once this... If this... If and when this unit of swordsmen wins, this could be a bad thing. Is that how Badir unit says that they're winning currently, but that sword... Oh, never mind. Swordsman unit's starting to waver. Never mind. I thought for sure the attackers just going to be able to walk right over that and take it out. Back over here, though. Let's see what's going on. Wow, Papal State's not having a lot left. Is his general still around? Where is the Papal General? I see that one unit of cavalry right there dodging out of the way. Oh, that's right. He's over here. Forgot the Papal States General had come all the way back over here. 159 kills for him. Guys, this is getting down to the wire. I mean, it's definitely very much in favor of the attackers for now. But we still have a lot. I mean, it's four and a half minutes left in this battle. There's still a lot of fighting to go here. What are we doing here? What is this? Oh, they're breaking it down. They're breaking all those stakes down. There you go. 
But the cavalry... Oh, no, the cavalry didn't run. Cavalry did not run away. So very nicely done here by the Gurud Sultanate. Getting rid of all these stakes outside of the settlement walls. Just in case, like I said, in preparation that the attackers are going to take control of this gatehouse. Those archers, all three of these archers, not looking very good here. Let's see, 23, 20, and 13. The Halberdiers here still holding, holding as much as they can with 80 men left in the unit. But that is another full unit of the heavy spear infantry that have made their way forward. So if this wall fails, this defense fails, and it looks like it is. One of the archer units is already, two of the archer units have already shattered there. Third one is routing out the door. We have some more of the papal archers now making his way over here. Going to continue trying to just throw things up on this wall. Going to keep this gate under their control. Back over here, though, we do have the prebuchet there from the Gurren Sultanate. He has 34 kills. Definitely has ammunition left. Not a whole lot, but he definitely has ammunition left. The Aftoon throwers have made their way forward. Oh, no. We have a general. No. The papal general is wavering. Where did his cavalry go? Uh-oh. Where did his cavalry go? That's not good. I wonder if he's just choosing to throw them up there. I mean, he doesn't have anything left. He's got his general and a unit of archers there. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Oh, no. He's still got cavalry right there. He's still got a very beaten up unit of cavalry. Oh, they wavered, but they came back. They wavered, but they came back. But the general now up on the wall here. Hasn't died. Still fighting, wavering, trying to get away. Put them back down. Get them back on that cavalry. No, it looks like he's going to run them up there. He's going to try and keep them up on the wall. Maybe try and keep control of this wall. Or it's could... Uh, again, another thing. It could be just misclicking from the game itself. He might be desperately trying to get his general back down off the wall to get onto these cavalry here. But they are unfortunately just charging right into the enemy. That is not good. That is definitely not a good thing there for that general unit. Did he stay in melee there? He is kind of staying in melee. They have turned to run away. General has routed. Hopefully he comes back. They come right back here in front of their cavalry, and they can just remount them. Hopefully that's what happens, but this is looking pretty bad for the defenders now. 286, 284 to 1292. This is looking pretty rough. General now wavering away. He's going to break. That general's got to break. 48 men out of 70 still in the unit there. Let's see what's going on over here. Have the attackers? They have not. The attackers have not captured the gate over here just yet. Still a minute left in the battle, though. General for Brabant starting to rumble around here. He's got 143 kills. Or was he just going to He's just going to headlong charge into some spearmen there. Oh, boy. Is he? Yes, he is. Oh. Yeah, not really a very good charge there. Unfortunately, not a very good charge. Artillery strikes still coming into the settlement there. No real target to fire at, though. 40 seconds left in the game. The Duchy of Brabant, the Duke of Brabant General just routed. The Duke has run. No. goes Duke of Playbot running away we have some more of the actually what is that medium shot cavalry how'd they get inside this gate's not broken down I don't know how they got in here but 11 seconds left and this is going to be an attackers victory brutal fight though definitely a very 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 brutal fight valiant defeat for the defenders let's take a look at the ending army compositions uh, battle was sent in by Sachax. Thank you very much for sending it on over there. He was playing as the Papal States. Lost 1872, 318 men remaining. Did a good amount of damage, though. 162 on his general. His shock infantry, 218, 253. Spearmen, 124. Swords, 159, 211. 102, 95, 90. Uh, his archers, some of his archers, okay. One unit there, 57. This unit here, 59. Cavalry here, 161, 202. Very nicely done. Then we have Smikara here with Duchy of Brabant. Three, 306 left remaining. Lost 2,064. 170 with his general. 
his shock infantry 136 402 kills with this brave bounty and knight unit wow Spearman, again, really good numbers, 144 there, 87, pretty solid. His halberdiers, uh, 312. Swordsman, 117, 72, 78. Archers, look at that, 146, 146, 94, 86. Great job there. Getting in with the attackers, we have Rio playing as the Cantonist Fitz. 837 left over, 1353 lost. General didn't get involved. Shock infantry, 144, 408. Wow, look at that. Beat them by six. Ooh. Uh, let's take a look. Pikes really didn't get involved. Swordsman here, 133, 65. Uh, another 63 there. Getting him with some of his crossbows or those handgunners. Oh, those are handgunners right there. 243 on a handgunner. Wow. Another unit of cavalry just hanging out there. Trebuchet, 17. Then we have Vintage V eight, losing 1822, but keeping or remaining 250 men of his army. So they have at least something to hold a garrison there. If they needed to form a garrison, maybe uh, maybe there'll be another battle replay on this map with uh, armies trying to come back and reclaim it. Uh, I don't know, maybe. But uh, Noka Foot Guards here, 108, 91. Very nicely done there. Again, Shock Infantry, 496. God, 177. Getting into some of his swords, 119. A lot more swords, not a whole lot of kills there, though. 45, 50, 86. There you go. Pretty good. And then we have WW Waneta playing as the Girded Sultanate. 1,600 men lost, 290 left. General didn't get involved. Uh, spear Infantry, 128. Nicely done. Spear Infantry on attack. Swords, 191 there. 124, 144. Gunners and archers not really getting a whole lot. Cavalry not getting a lot. And he had 47 kills on his trebuchet. But all right, guys, there you go. 12-12 battle in the books. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, again, please, I ask, hit that like button. Definitely, definitely drop a comment down below. Share the content around. And, of course, if you are new to the channel and you like seeing Total War content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, maybe more. 10,000 more than 10,000 subscribers for this year we're about halfway through the year boys we need about 15 14 1500 more subscribers let's go let's go see what we can do but all right that is going to be the end have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one